follow-up to a story we first brought you about a week ago. It was about the art exhibit called Lobstering Women of Maine at the Penobscot Marine Museum in Searsport. It's a nod to female captains on the water, and it's created by Susan Toby White. 13 paintings in all, including one of 11-year-old Nora Donnell, the youngest on display and one of the few girls her age lobstering her own traps. Our Rob Nesbitt went out on the water to see what influences a girl before she's even a teenager to follow in her father's fishing boots. A perfect sunny day in July and the perfect day to be out on the ocean. We normally go around 7-ish. It's how Nora Donnell spends her summers with her dad, Zach, fishing for lobsters using her student license, reaching into one of the 30 traps she fishes off of Wells Beach to see what the catch of the day is. Hey, that's a nice one. Not bad for an 11-year-old who already has a few years of boat experience under her belt. I've been doing it since I was eight. She gets excited every time she sees a trap full of claws. I like seeing the traps and when they come up and the big lobsters in there, it's fun to measure them and see if they're keepable or not. I like banding them as well. There's one in here that is keepable. In the last four years, Nora has learned how to measure. But if it's like down here, I can't, I would have to throw it back. Identify male and egg laying females. Is a female and she has eggs. Band claws, throw back traps, and several other tasks of the job that Zach has been doing since he was 14 years old. How many were you doing on this, Dad? He fishes 800 traps year round, in addition to the 30 he pulls from the water twice a week with Nora. Yeah, no, I mean, it's hard work. It's, it's every day, it's not when you want to. You know, you are in business for yourself, and it's one of the few things, the harder you work, the better you can do. So this is another male. The father-daughter duo use a boat that Nora inherited from her grandfather in 2012 smaller than Zach's main lobster boat and easier to get into shallow areas. Taking them around the shore to see how the bait worked and allowing Zach to pass on his lobstering knowledge to the next generation of the family. And no V-notches. It's been great, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy doing it. It's, it's a different type of fishery with a smaller boat, like you just said, because you can get into the tight areas. And I used to do that years ago in a skiff like that. Oh yes. There are other women who lobster, of course, but Nora doesn't know anyone on the water who's younger. Checking if it's a boy or a girl. It's part of the reason why she was chosen as the subject of a Susan Toby White painting. Well, this is Nora. On display at the Penobscot Marine Museum for the public to enjoy, Nora included. Oh, it was amazing. I was in love with it. It's so beautiful and everyone's like, oh my gosh, is that Nora? I think I got like a million pictures taken of me. An image with a smile from ear to ear that Nora also wears on the job. So we got two big ones in this trap. Showing how proud she is to be on the boat with her dad. It makes it on one side just by a hair. And a part of Maine's lobster industry. Yeah, it's fun. Pull that nice and tight. In Wells, Rob Nesbitt. New Center, Maine. On a day like that, pretty good job. Blue Loving skies, life. calm seas. Nora says that one day she wants to work as a veterinarian, but she also wants to keep her lobstering as a second job. Always good to be well-rounded like that. I like that <laughs> career plan.